Hello, John Hall from right here in Shrewsbury, uh, another video review. And it's a rather curious one today. Um, it's a pen from Visconti, or series of pens from Visconti. I know very, very little about them actually. Um, so, without too much more ado, I'll show you one. There we go. Now one of the few things I do know is that I think this is a replica of the first pen that Visconti ever made and um, we must be going back 30 years or so now and it's called the Visconti Classic and it comes as a rollerball or a fountain pen. There we go. Now all the fountain pens have steel medium nibs but I think what's rather nice about this series of pens is he says attempting to hold rather more pens than he probably can actually. They do come in a whole range of really quite tasty colours. Here we go, here's the other ones. Oh, look at that. Now the other thing that's really unusual about them for Visconti is that uh, the fountain pen costs £80 and the rollerball costs £70. Now that, I'm sure you'll agree, is good news for all of you who thought I'd love to own a Visconti pen but I'm never going to be able to afford one. And compared with the sort of price that you're going to pay for Homo Sapiens or something like that, these are very, very reasonably priced. But of course, there is a downside. So let's have a closer look at them and see whether Visconti have come up with a winner or not. Here we go then. And this is them, or this is the colours. Now, an interesting fact is that we're not entirely certain uh, what the colours are called by Visconti because we haven't heard that yet um, we haven't had a lot of information at all I'm delighted to say that we have had, have had some photographs so in order on the table this one we're calling orange good name this one we're calling crimson well that's probably a bit, a bit burgundy rather than crimson I thought, but there we are this one we're calling blue and black, slightly reminiscent of the OMS Bologna actually. This one, nice crackly golden brown, we're calling sepia. This is green. And this, largely because of the photograph that we've had of it, we're calling blue brown. Although I've got to say on this particular model, um, I can't see a huge amount of brown. Although, as you'll doubtless know, with um, Visconti resins, actually, there's usually quite a lot of interest in them, and they do turn out to be uh, different from one another. So when you're buying a, a resin pen for Visconti, even the less expensive ones, um, there is quite a degree of variation there, which is, which is good fun, I think. So let's take a closer look at the colours first of all. So this is the orange, and take a close look at... Pen. There we go. Can we see this? Yes. Now, as you'll see as I turn it, hey, I like that. That's got quite a lot going for it. Now, this is the orange. If we just have a quick look here at the. Hmm, trying to get it to focus. Perhaps. Oh, there we go. It comes in and out, doesn't it? You just caught a glimpse there of the work on the clip. I'm probably not quite up to the usual Visconti standard I've got to say and the clip as you'll see has got a nice ball on it and it seems, oh it does the things that a clip ought to do basically I think that would secure it fairly nicely. Have a closer look at the crimson, there we go. Now for a better idea of the colours I think probably you should go to the website as you know um, I'm always a bit concerned about colour reproduction on these videos and I don't know if you've been following the press about is this dress blue and black or is it gold and cream or whatever I don't know I mean colour tricky thing colour isn't it this is definitely blue no doubt about that at all blue and black I think we're calling that one this is the sepia I'd say that was quite a good reproduction certainly on the screen I'm looking at as I'm making this there we go. Lots of interest in there. That's very pretty. There's the green again. Mm, nice. Very nice. 
and this is the black and br sorry blue and brown and well I can't see a lot of blue there but I do think it's very nice very nice indeed so I suspect if you buy these um, colors won't be exact um, because as I say there is quite a bit of variation uh, with the color with Visconti resins so so that that's that's not a major problem but what are they like as pens well size you'll probably see they're probably not quite the same size as a as we usually associate with Visconti but on the other hand they're not that bad to be honest now I just happen to have my Homo sapiens to hand and as you can see it's a considerably bulkier pen but um yeah, you know, I mean, well, they're all thereabouts, really, aren't they? They're definitely pen size, rather than not pen size. There we go. Let's have a look in here. I don't know whether we've got a fountain pen here. Yes, we have. Now, let's just have a look at the nib. As I've said, all the nibs are... Whoa! How do I get it here? Oh, there we are. All the nibs are medium. The steel nibs. And you can see there's a bit of work on there. Quite nice. Nice little feed there. All medium, so there's no mucking about there. That's not bad at all. And the other thing we need to check up is can we get a converter in it? Now normally at this point I have to go rushing downstairs to find one, but today I have a Visconti converter. In fact I've got a pack of them there. So that seems to be going in Fairly snugly. Ooh. Ah! Always catches me out, that does. So as you'll see, it takes the standard cartridge, but it also takes the Visconti converter. So here we are. Now, let's have a look here. This is what the rollerball looks like. Yeah, not bad not bad at all hang on let's see if we can post oh yes nice actually that's that's not so bad at all not so bad at all so let's just have a look here move these to the periphery for a minute periphery there's a word eh don't often get that at four o'clock in the afternoon and we shall bring my famous google notebook google which um, also had a starring appearance in the recent video I did about the Diplomat Air. Again, another nice bit. I mean, it's part of the time. You should never listen to videos from me, really. I quite like pens, and I can usually find something to like about almost any pen. So, I mean, I sell them for a living, so of course I do. Don't you see me? Right, now, pen to paper. Well, Can't. I'd say this is really quite pleasant, as a friend of mine who knows a thing or two about nibs said earlier today, actually. Um, steel nib, Visconti, don't worry about that. They're at least as nice as their gold or palladium ones. And this is actually very nice. I mean, it's, it's, uh, is it on the thin side of medium? No, this is probably pretty much medium, medium. And I could quite happily use this for a while. Let's just post it, see how we get on there. I've got to say, posting it really does make quite a difference. And all of a sudden you feel as if you've got something quite substantial in your hand. Quite substantial that is an A yes my handwriting gets no better <laughs> isn't it amazing sometimes inexpensive pens are just so trouble free aren't they well I'd say with these um, I wouldn't be ashamed to take this anywhere actually it's nice it's got a, it has certainly got a very old-fashioned feel to it actually so it's almost like buying a vintage pen um, certainly you haven't got anything vintage in terms of the nib, but it really does work very nicely. And I've got to say, the colours are, in my view, pretty tasty. So, now, 
cost. Did I talk about cost before? Because cost, I think, is the critical thing here. So for this fountain pen, recommended retail is £80, which I think is really very reasonable for a well put together. I mean, it's not perfect. I mean, the clip, if you like that sort of thing, probably like it quite a lot. Not bad. Um, not particular. Um, this is fairly straightforward, but very nice resins. Um, I suppose if anyone wanted to phone up and make me an offer for the entire set, these come in trays, incidentally. So we get six of each fountain pen and six of each rollerball. And I think we're trying to work out a decent deal to encourage people to buy both together. And I think that would be a real addition to your uh, writing equipment. Rollerballs are useful sometimes. Fountain pens are always much nicer. Oh, I've really got to say, I... Oh, the other thing to say about this, of course, is that these are, I believe, a limited edition. I'm not sure how many sets they've made. Um, I think it's in the hundreds. Um, I'm not sure many how, uh, how many hundreds. I shall talk to my friend and colleague, um, Michael Owen, sometime before the end of the week and try and find out how many there are. And also try and find out what the proper names are, because by the end of the week I shall be pushing out, I fear, another newsletter, and hopefully we'll be able to update the website and give a little bit more information on the newsletter. But for the time being, that's it from us. Um, yeah, very pleasant. I've enjoyed doing that. Thanks for listening. John Hall from Right Here Pens.